Well, drama seems to follow the Beverly Hills housewives wherever they go this season. Yeah, even 8,000 miles away where we got to follow the fabulous ladies on vacation in Dubai. And here to catch us up on everything is Kyle Richards. Welcome back. Thank you. Good Happy to be you. here. Yeah, so you all took this amazing, fabulous trip in this over-the-top place in Dubai. You actually organized the whole thing, right? Tell us yes, about the whole experience. I mean, my, my husband had just gone there, and I couldn't go because I was working, so I really wanted to go so that's how it came about and it was just really exciting really over the top like yeah, you see yeah. <laughs> um, it's not much different than Vegas sometimes though really? you know the hotel and everything just kind of wild and you know the cars and the everything is bigger than life there yeah so. So you, was it was it nice though with everyone being together? Oh, it was lovely. Didn't you see? Yeah. <laughs> no, you know the no truth drama is, at all. we have a lot of fun moments too. I think my favorite moment of the whole trip probably was swimming with the sea lions. Um, you know, with Lisa. But we we have a lot of fun too. But you know, there's also with that problems. group, you take the good, you take the bad. Exactly. You're in Dubai. You well, know. you know, when we're having our you know last week our episode while we're over there having fun at the, the Arabian Nights dinner. I didn't realize that Lisa Vanderpump and Lisa Renner were getting into this whole thing. Yeah. I'm so glad because I was having so much fun that night. Yeah. So we have fun you, not, too. you know, let me ask you about the whole behind, behind the scenes. Give us a little perspective on that. I mean, you've been doing this for a while now. Do you ever get used to the cameras in your home, in your private space? Oh, very much so. Yeah. In fact, that, that's what gets you in trouble. <laughs> yeah. and growing up as a child actor, I was already, in, I was very comfortable in front of the camera anyway. Yeah. So that is, you know, not always on your Dangerous. side. Yeah, because yes. you're, you're very comfortable. You let your guard down and. You know, I don't even think about the cameras. Any anymore. moments you regret from this season when the cameras were rolling and you kind of forgot that we don't um, see? I don't feel like I have a lot of regrets this season. I've yeah. had many in the mm -hmm. in the past, but you know, I really don't have any regrets this season. Yeah, I don't think I've ever said that. Like, well, this season, that's gross. You know, wow. And you say you forget the cameras are there. And we've seen you've been very open. We've seen a lot of things, uh, a lot of ups, a lot of downs. There's yeah. kind of been some rocky points with you, your relationship with your sisters. Yeah. But then we recently saw um, a photo of, of the three of you on Instagram. So are you in in the the, the peak right no, now? No, you know, it was it was a very difficult time, and that's when you think, God, I cannot believe I'm on a reality show. Yeah. And it was upsetting, you know, just because. You know, my sister Kathy's not on the show and stuff that was going on. I didn't want that to be, you know, included. But, you know, I don't have that luxury of, you know, yeah. editing my life for them. Yeah. So, but now everybody's in a very good place. Both my sisters, Kathy and Kim, have little babies coming. They're Nikki, my niece Nikki Hilton is pregnant and my niece Brooke uh, is pregnant. So, it's very exciting. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can we talk about Yolanda for a moment and sure. her, her um, illness? You were in New York. You attended a gala, you know, supporting her. And you seem to have, kind of have a different perspective um, when it comes to her and the Lyme disease. Well, you know, there was a lot of talk, you know, with La Yolanda. A lot of us didn't know. Nobody doubted that she had Lyme disease. And I think people misunderstood that. Yeah. We all know she had a positive diagnosis of Lyme disease. But she herself was like, well, there's a mystery. What else is going on here? She didn't yeah. know if it was her implants or, you know, her fillings in her teeth. So mm -hmm. there was a lot of talk about that. And, you know, we did talk about her dramatic Instagram posts, which, you know, I, I, I fessed up to her. I said, I have partaked in, like, some of the things you post, like pictures, you look like you're sitting in a toaster. I, you know, <laughs> it's going crazy. But we didn't really understand it. You know, yeah. none of us did. Mm -hmm. And when I went there and saw these people get up and speak, that have been saying the same thing that you know that Yolanda has been saying, and to see to see her children, you know, crying and supporting their mom. I mean, it really knocked me on the floor. I, yeah. I couldn't believe it. I was wow. very emotional. Yeah. So. Well, um, I know that both Lisas in the cast have found themselves in some hot water, and everyone came down on Lisa Pan Vanderpump last week. But you try to take the high road, even though she may have been throwing you under the bus. So what's What's well, happening there? <laughs> you know, I think it's probably very confusing for some people. Like, you know, why, what is Kyle doing with the situation? But Lisa and I have come very far. We've had a lot of ups and downs over the years, but we are the closest in the cast. And I care about her. And I know yeah. she cares about me. And, you know, yeah. it was something I dealt with in the moment. And I moved on. And it just wasn't that important to me. And, you know, we're having fun and yeah. laughing. I'm like, I don't want to go back in time and create problems. And I felt like it was Lisa Renna's issue with her more than mine, so I was like, you're on your own. Okay. Well, congrats on <laughs> order for you. TV land, right? Yeah. So exciting. Yeah. Tell us about that. It's a pilot? It's a pilot mm -hmm. um, with Warner Brothers TV and TV land is the network. So um, yeah, it's about my life growing up in the 70s. So I will be- as a, Like your life as a, as a child As a child, actor, so right? my character will be about 10 years old. Yeah. And the main character is gonna be my mother. So that's gonna be hard to cast because my mom was a very oh, unique Oh anyone woman. in mind? You know, we've talked about so many different names. You know, f you know, a couple names came up. Uh, actually, Demi Moore, only because so many people yeah. compared us looking yes, like yes. she didn't look like my mom. But 
um, you know, a couple of different names. My mom was a redhead, so that's very important to me that the person. What about you? Hair. You playing the role of your mom and dyeing your well, hair? Well, I, I could do my mom probably better than anybody else, but I want someone else. I'm producing this time. Yeah, I'll <laughs> yeah, the cameras right. out. Let, let yeah. me alone. All right, yeah. we'll you have to Deborah come back when we talk about um, Celebrity Apprentice too. So you have to come back. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills airs Tuesdays at 9 p.m. on Bravo. So be sure to check it out, Kyle. Thank you so much. Thank for you. Bye. Nice to see you, ladies. Yeah.